Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a video going over one of my favorite parts of Miss Weaver going to Dragonflight, and that is Escape from Reality being a baseline spell. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, this was a legendary in Shadowlands, but you were only able to use one of the major legendaries at a time. So you had to choose between Escape from Reality when you thought you were going to be tunneled, or one of your best legendaries, which is Cloud of Focus. But now... We get both. We have both spells. So today I'm going to show you some, you know, how to use it, some tips and tricks I learned uh, going to pre-patch. And yeah, pretty much that's that's going to be it. Uh, let's jump right into it. Escape from Reality allows you to use your Transcendence Transfer again up to 10 seconds later. And then afterwards, your Vivify will also heal for 50% more and you get refunded 50% of the mana. So pretty much what that is, is you put your port down and you're going to use it probably while you're, while you're being tunneled and you just port, right? And now you get this buff right here. And what it does is Transcendence has no cooldown, Vivify healing increased, and it's refunded 50%. So now you can pour again. Boom. And look at that. It's 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 amazing. It's it's one of the best things they've ever added for Miss Weaver. I cannot believe it's baseline. I am so happy right now. Transcendence can be used for a few reasons. The main reasons you're going to use Transcendence Transfer, one is to avoid CC. Like, you just do so much healing. Port that poly. This is a very common one. If you see a mage casting polymorph on you, guess what? You're just going to port. You avoid the polymorph completely. And now if they reposition with uh, Escape from Reality, you can transfer, you can, you know, transfer uh, again. Uh, the other one is obviously when you're being trained. So when you're being trained to the ground by some melee with a bunch of stuns, it's really hard for Mistweavers to get away. But the double port is going to make it a lot easier, especially if they use mobility to get to you. If you port and then they use, I don't know, they're playing as a warrior, and they leap to try to get to you, you can just pour it again. All of a sudden, they don't have mobility to get to you, and they either have to run across the arena to get to you, or they just swap off you, which is ideal. Um, the other way is to reposition. I mean, you don't want to waste port, but there are situations where maybe oh, the team is stacked up, you don't want to be there, so you just pour it out, uh, and you're just using that to get away. That's fine, too, as long as you don't think they're going to go. Is this a bug? That's kind of, kind of cool, though. Support again. That's pretty sick. Um, so yeah, those are the main reasons what I would do. You could also use it. I mean, technically, if the other team is isn't positioning well and they actually stack me a port, you could like port kick if they're trying to cast. But again, be careful with using port aggressively because it's not going to happen often, and then they can kind of kill you afterwards. So you could still die. You have defensive. This, this is still the only defensive you could use, use while stunned. So you could still die. It does interact with eminence. So eminence is a PvP talent where when you use your transcendence transfer while stunned you the cooldown is 45 seconds uh if you don't use it while stunned uh it reduces the cooldown by 15 seconds so it makes a 30 second cooldown so i don't know if this is a bug but this was also in shadowlands so i don't think it is a bug pretty much if you use your transcendence transfer while stunned the first time and then you use your transcendence transfer again without being stunned it's still a 30 second cooldown so if the first port that you use you use while stunned. Normally, if you're not using Escape from Reality, your port's going to be a 45 second cooldown. But if you use the second Transcendence Transfer when you're not stunned, the cooldown's only 30 seconds, which is amazing. Like, basically, you have double port every 30 seconds, which is almost every stun DR. It's not every stun DR, but it's really close to it. So it makes it like very, very strong versus teams that are tunneling you. Another neat trick I learned is you could port and then you could reset your port and still uh, kite away from it. And then report back. It's it's. I I think that's gonna be kind of good versus casters. I I did it the other day in a game where I was playing against like I think it was Mage Lock, and I ported to avoid CC, and then I reset my port and I went to heal again, and I poked out a little bit, and they tried to poly me again, so I just re reported and avoid the CC again. It's actually really really good. I, I this this is by far my favorite part of Dragonflight so far. The final tip is you could use your second charge of port while kicked. That's right. You can roll away, get kicked, and you could still use port because I guess that buff like overrides or something. I don't know how it works, but yeah, you can use that and get kicked and still be able to port, which is great for baiting out kicks if you're being uh, if you're being tunneled. Even if you're not, just baiting a kick and being able to port away to avoid any follow up CC or something is really really good. And that's pretty much it for this video. I know this was a short video, but I just thought I'd share some tips and tricks and some cool things about Escape from Reality. I know a lot of people didn't use it in Shadowlands. I use it quite a bit. Um, it was one of my favorite legendaries. That and Cloud of Focus were obviously my favorite legendaries in, in Shadowlands, and I'm so happy this spell is baseline. But yeah, if you have any questions or ideas for videos, let me know. We're in pre-patch. We're kind of like 
in like the in between there's like nothing really going on so if you have any ideas for videos let me know i have a lot of solo shuffle games so i'll probably go through those um if there's any spells or anything you're confused on let me know please ask me questions i'm more than happy and that's pretty much it hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoy the video and i'll see you later